Revelation 1465, from the 10th of June 1940. Resistance. Weaknesses of the will of the adversary. The constant fight with the opponent strengthens the power of resistance, if at all resistance is offered to its temptations. He is increasingly eager at work to force down the soul, but all attempts fail because of man's right will. And this right will is the will turned towards God, which is the best weapon against all attacks of the enemy. The will turned towards God also paralyzes the power of the enemy, and he therefore tries to redirect the will in another way towards his lures. He knows the weaknesses of mankind. He also knows how to exploit them in such a way that the temptations have a weakening effect on man and all resistance must be offered in order to be able to master them. But those temptations are only a danger if they stifle the desire for God, but if this is predominant, all attempts of the opponent fail. For then God stands by the one who desires him and helps him to free himself from the force that wants to bind him. And in such hours of temptation, it is especially important to take refuge in prayer, that is, to confess to the Lord that one's longing is for him and that all earthly pleasures are willingly abandoned of love for him. This battle, which man is supposed to fight against his own feelings, is certainly difficult, but God knows for what purpose he sends such trials to his own. He knows the degree of love for himself and now wants to strengthen it by making himself more difficult to reach and thus stimulating the will of man to increased activity. Then man proves his love for God, he proves that it stands up to earthly love. Man will seldom be able to free himself completely from the feeling of inner abandonment if divine help is not near him. He will have to go through difficult inner conflicts as long as there is still earthly desire in him. And he can only overcome this by calling on divine strength and requesting it in prayer, but then he will overcome everything victoriously, he will turn to God more and more exclusively and strive for union with him, because love always urges for union. This is the divine feeling which should be inherent in all beings so that only the right union, the union with the good, should always be striven for. God stands by the earthly child struggling with itself and guides its thoughts rightly, and if these thoughts find themselves again in intimate prayer to him, all danger is overcome. The cunning of the adversary has failed. Love for God has won the victory. Amen.